Welcome back to the channel and today um, it's quite sad it's it's quite um, annoying and it's quite I don't know how to put things um, in order I don't know how to put my words together but um, if you are in South Africa you definitely know that there are a bunch of things happening currently and we're going through a lot um, the country is currently going through a lot if you go on Twitter you will see a whole lot that states that um, South Africa is, is burning Shut down South Africa, Deben, Tembisa. These are not just names of provinces listed on Twitter. They just these are names um, or areas that are actually experiencing um, hard time. I mean, these places are going through a lot, and it's not only these places that are listed on Twitter. There are mainly a whole lot of places that are not even listed on the internet. <laughs> So yeah, recently I made a video about the former president Mr. Jacob Zuma. I'm not sure if you guys did watch the videos that I uploaded some days ago talking about Jacob Zuma. So yes, the whole thing started when um, Mr. our former president Jacob Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in, 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 in prison because of um, money issues. I mean, these are previous issues that uh, took place a while back. So yeah, the the whole incident is just coming back over and over again because um, yeah, I think mainly because he's no longer the president of South Africa anymore. He was sentenced to 15 months in prison, which he handed himself recently to one of the police stations. So yeah, most people are, are protesting based on this whole Jacob Zuma issues and all that, but. I think to now, I mean basically now or to this point where I'm shooting this video, it does not seem or look like people are protesting on behalf of um, Jacob Zuma because now the people are protesting, yes there's a whole lot going on outside, there's burning of cars, a whole lot, a whole lot, people have lost a lot, the shops have been looted, yo I don't even know but I'm sure if you guys are on most of these platforms you've definitely seen the video i won't be able to publish the videos on my content that right now this one that you're watching due to um youtube policies and all that but i'll try my possible best to censor most of the clips and all that I'm not fine. I'm not sure if you guys do know about Seglo. Seglo is a big company in South Africa. I guess you also got other branches in Ghana. Um, they deal with uh, hair products and all that. So um, recently we got a news from one of the stores. I'm not sure which province the video came from. But um, one of the shops got looted. And um, yeah, it was very bad seeing the video. I mean, I don't know which particular shop that is like I listed. But it was quite sad because it seems like... I mean, what do you even gain from a saloon? <laughs> Is it hair food or a cutting machine? What are you actually going to get in a salon? But overall, I guess there's definitely something that they will gain by breaking the shop. I mean, they got plasma, 
out there when you, you most of the salons for Seglo got plasmas i mean it's quite small but what can you gain you're going to sell that plasma in a day spend the money and then what and then what you just damage someone's business that will take him hours years months to rebuild hey it's quite crazy man a lot of people are in fear right now most people are not working a lot of shops are closed because they are scared that you will never know you will probably be open and then the next thing um, your shop will be looted yeah man so i just hope um Serglo, this shop this particular one got um um, got insurance, but I, I'm definitely sure because most of the shops for Seglos, um They are in a mall and most of these ones are Definitely they will be insured. So I'm not quite sure but and I'm I'm, I'm also skeptical I'm not sure if this is Seglo shop or it's another shop But from the look of things it looks like it's Seglo, but on the other hand also we also got um, We I think I we heard on the news recently that um one of the barbers, the saloons. <laughs> I, I don't know, but today is like we're covering only saloons, man. Sorry, man, but that is most that I came across or most that I saw. So legendary barbers, I'm not sure if you guys have heard about them. Legendary barbers, these are big saloons in South Africa, man. I mean, if you know legends, yo, this, this are... <laughs> I mean, most people go there, and you all over, man. Most of you know, legend babas are they are they're saloon and, and saloon, saloon, saloon. <laughs> so I think one of us, their branches was also um, in danger. They also got attacked and all that. It's not like you are harming the owner of the shop but what i basically think is um you are actually um taking the jobs that people got because already we we, we crying that there isn't much jobs in the country and now there is this so it's it's a pity because at the end of the day your people are losing i mean you end up going back to the where are you going to work because the shop is already a mess uh, and it's a problem but um he posted a, a statement under the video let me read the statement this is from Sheldon 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 Tachil is it there Tachi hey bro I'm not sure about this for this name but yeah this is basically the the owner or how do you call it the founder the CEO of legendary Baba in South Africa so what he's saying is when I saw the images of our store it broke my heart not because of the loss of income but the mere act of destroying people's living wood how many of your kids work at the store that you have looted okay this is how many of your kids work at the store that you've looted okay how many of your wives husbands sisters and mothers what job do you have to go back to what income can you provide by your actions our staff is crying heartbroken because of you um their parents uncles aunties cousins friends left them jobless your actions have caused disruption and <laughs> it's heartbreaking. So this is basically the words that came from um, the CEO or the founder of Legendary Baba. Um, you can see, man, things are very, it, I mean, it's bad because, yo, we complain that there's no jobs in the country. Now there's job and then we're messing the job up <laughs> simply because. But, um, yo, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. I'm not sure this is based on Jacob Zuma going to prison and all that. Before, we used to think, okay, the people are demanding or 
requesting Jacob Zuma to be out of prison. But as time goes on, it doesn't seem like that's the fact anymore because now everybody is doing what or looting what they can loot in order to survive. So it's basically anger. I think that is the whole thing because now everybody is taking the thing. And it's crazy because now you're saying that you want Jacob Zuma to come out. What has the 58-inch plasma has to do with <laughs> <laughs> to survive. If a person who's driving a car can come here with his car, surely not everyone who is looting here is unemployed or is struggling to survive. Some of the people are just pure criminals because they can afford to survive. The gentleman is really struggling. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, our job is to bring it to life. He's trying yeah, to open the boot now. Let's see what his plan is. It's all the boot is already full. <laughs> wow. I mean, I mean, you know what? Yo, man, it's a sad situation, but at the same time, there's nothing we can do. I heard the president uh, recently deployed army to calm the situation down and solve the issues and all that. So we're hoping any time from now, things will get back to normal. And yo, sorry to everybody that lost. And yeah, I hope uh, things get back to normal, especially because a lot of things are going down right now. Businesses are down and I don't know how things are going to because <laughs> now it's like nobody fears covid anymore now they are like they are like foot covid <laughs> we're not corona there's no corona now so we die we die hey but imagine the number of people that are going to be affected yo hey <laughs> but now nah, yo man uh whatever it is man i hope let's just pray for south africa because it's a problem it's a, it's a big problem every year annually we have to experience this and this year it is what it is man but yeah anyway if you are new on the channel kindly subscribe hit on the like button and um yeah let me know your thoughts and comments um what you think about this whole situation link it in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now